Hi, welcome to a vinyasa practice. My name is Kaylee. When you're ready, you can meet me on your back. So we'll actually begin this practice on the back. Feel free to extend your legs completely long out in front of you. If that feels great from the lower back, awesome. Take Shavasana before we get going, kind of like a little dessert before dinner. If that doesn't feel great on your lower back, go ahead and just bend your knees and plant your feet down somewhere to give the back of your pelvis a little more support. Thanks so much for showing up. And give yourself a nice kind of moment of acknowledgement. I know most of our lives are pretty busy. Or even if we happen to have a free hour, it can be a little bit challenging to fit in something like a yoga practice or a self-care practice. And so really just acknowledging this positive self-affirming choice that you've made just by showing up. As you start to settle into your breath, you see if you can lengthen your inhales just a little bit without forcing it, maybe drawing the breath down into the belly or the hips. And then slow your exhales down. A couple more rounds of breath to settle in. Inhaling, feel yourself expanding, stretching, making space for yourself in your practice. And exhale as you let yourself settle in, let the back of the body just melt into the surface beneath it. Let's take one more round of breath here, drawing a deep breath in, let the belly fill, let the chest expand as your lungs reach their capacity. And then this time, open your mouth, let a big sigh out. Reach your arms back up over your head here, lengthen out through the sides of your body, and then bring your right knee into your chest. If your left foot is planted, go ahead and stretch that left leg long, if that's okay, in the lower back at this point, and then circle your right ankle a couple times, slow down those circles. So we will get moving. I have kind of a, a little bit of a cardio moment in our flow plan today. Switch the direction of those circles. But see if you can ease yourself into that space. So we're going to use the whole practice. We've got the whole time here. Spread your toes out, point and flex your foot, and then move your hands behind your knees. So make a little swing for the back of your thigh, pressing into your hamstring. You're going to start to push your hamstring into your palms, push the back of the leg into the hands, so much so that the arms straighten. And then tuck your chin to your chest. Keep pressing into your hands with your thigh as you roll up, roll up the chest, just into a little crunch here. Take a big breath in. Keep your right knee between your hands. Exhale, lower it down, lower the shoulders, the head, right knee relaxes into your chest. Let's do that again. Push into your hands. Inhale as you curl up, little crunch, hollow out the abdomen. Exhale and roll it back down. Feel the release. Two more times, breathe and curl and crunch up, belly pulls in, exhale as you lower. Last time, really press into your hands, use your leg, curl the chin to lift into that crunch position, hold, flex your left foot and then try and hover your left leg up off of the mat. Stay here breathing. Option. This gets pretty tough right out the gate. Option to keep the right hand on the back of the right knee, but bring your left hand behind your head. Open the left elbow. So keep the hips level, but rotate the ribs to the left. Breathe in. Exhale, left elbow toward the right. Little curl. Imagine the left underarm moving to the right hip crease. Inhale as you open it up. We're just going to do two more. Exhale, curl it in. Squeeze little twists. Last time, breathe in, curl, squeeze, hold, 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 big breath in, and then release it all down gently into Shavasana. Once your body is fully supported by the floor, let go. Feel the contrast between that contraction, that efforting, and the release, the surrender.
And sweep the arms back over your head as you breathe in and find some length. Exhale, left knee comes into your chest. Right leg is long with the right knee and ankle lined up with the hip roughly. Circle your left ankle in space. Find some movement in your foot. Find some little spaces between the toes from the toes. Switch the direction of those ankle circles if you have it. And then interlace your hands behind the left thigh. Press your left thigh into your hands so much so that it feels like the leg and your lower belly is pulling you into a crunch. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe in. Keep hold of your left knee as you exhale. Bring the knee to the chest and the head to the mat. Three more. Inhale, crunch up. Push that thigh away from you. Maybe you start to straighten the leg out a little bit. Exhale as you roll down. Press and lift. Big breath in. Exhale, lower it down. Last time, push, lift, and hold. Hold when you get into that pose. Maybe you emphasize it a little bit. Maybe you hover the right leg. Everything is just an option. So take what you need, leave what you don't. Keep that left hand behind the left knee. If you're adding this extra option here, right elbow comes out to the right behind your head. A little like a quarter of a twist of your rib cage over to the right, breathe in. Exhale, rotate right elbow toward the left. Inhale as you open up. Exhale, imagine your right elbow coming to the left, or yeah, yeah, right elbow to left elbow. Last time, big breath in. Of course, I get chatty here. Exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Stay here, breathe in. And then Shavasana, let it completely go. Feel that sense of surrender, that sense of space, that sense of relief after the effort. Remind yourself that you can do hard things. And remind yourself that if we trust the cycles, if we trust the flow of life, there will be relief after the effort. So you have to look for it, even if it's scattered in really small moments in your practice or in your life, keep looking for it. Stretch your arms back up over your head, interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you. Bring your legs together, zip up your legs, point your toes if you can, really push the toes toward the wall in front of you, press the palms toward the wall behind you. Breathe in. And then both knees come into your chest, maybe one at a time. Start to rock forward and backward. Hands come right behind the knees here. We're going to keep the knees bent and rock it up into an early Navasana, rocking up into boat pose. In high boat, option to bring your hands back behind you. For some folks, for myself included, that is going to help me find better alignment and engagement in my spine and my abdomen. If you want, we'll get a little playful. We're going to open the legs, keep the knees bent and then close the legs back together. If it feels available, bring the hands together, open the arms and the legs, and then bring the arms and the legs together. Remember, you could be back here. So we're just getting a little bit playful here. Laughter and play are not things that come naturally to me as an adult, but the funny thing about it is there's an expression, laughter and play are the fountain of youth. It's actually really good for our brains to be a little bit more playful and creative. Last five, hands could be back here, right? Four, three, big breath in, big breath out. There's two more, inhale, close, last one. Open, close, hold it here. Reach the arms forward if you can, straighten the legs out. Five, four, three, two, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, fold forward over your legs. Let the head drop, let go of any gripping that you are doing in the thighs. Let the belly soften and then breathe into the backside of your body. Send a little space down toward the kidneys, toward the adrenals as you let the breath move into the back of the lungs and stretch the back of the ribs gently. Start to lift the head up, bring the legs back together. We're going to come right back into our Navasana, but reach your arms forward here. 
between your legs, separate the legs. So we're setting up for Malasana, which is our yogi squat. A little playful here. Start to rock forward and backward. See if maybe you can find a little bit of momentum. See how this goes to rock yourself into Malasana. Totally okay if you don't get right there. However you wanna get into Malasana is perfect today. Bring your hands to your heart. Let your chin bow toward your chest gently. I'm gonna come back to a space that feels intentional for you. Remind yourself that you're already in like this positive, affirming action of taking care of yourself. And my hope is that you move through your practice with that in mind. So that might mean that you add a little bit extra at some point. So you want to add a chaturanga or maybe pick up the pace of it, or you need an arm balance. It might also mean that you modify in different ways, drop a knee, a child's pose through our vinyasas. See if you can stay really true to yourself so that this practice feels as nourishing as possible. Big breath in through your nose, really filling yourself with that intention, that commitment. Sip in a little bit more breath at the top and then open mouth, exhale, offering it up. Release your fingers down, lift your hips up. Heel toe your feet a little closer together so that the toes point forward and then soft bend your knees, bring your chest down toward your thighs. Feet are still hips distance apart, maybe even a little bit wider. Let your head just tumble forward and your arms dangle, find a little sway. Breathing in, breathing out. You release the hands if they're not and peel to the feet a little closer together. Maybe the big toes touch, but the outer edges of your feet are gonna be parallel with the outer edges of your mat. Slide your palms to your chins. Find a long spine here. Send your hips back in space. Pull the abdominals in as you reach the crown of the head forward. Stay long in the sides of the neck. Big breath in. Catch the calves, exhale, a little squeeze, chin tucks toward your chest, the weight moves toward your toes. Do that again, lift up halfway, inhale, hug the shoulders together behind the heart. Forward fold, exhale, chin bows toward your chest. Last time like that, big breath in. Maybe open mouth, exhale this time. Unroll slowly, sliding your hands up the front of your thighs if you'd like. Once your shoulders are over your hips, reach your arms up, stretch, put your feet, push your feet down and reach the fingers for the ceiling. Breathe in, get a sense that you're being pulled in opposite directions, bring your hands through heart center and then bow it all the way forward. Halfway stretch, breath in. Plant your hands, step back to the top of a push up, finding plank pose here. And then walk your feet just about a foot forward and hover your knees. So you're hovering your knees almost underneath your hips or maybe underneath your hips. Press the floor away. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward so the shoulders stay over the wrists and the knees are at a hover. We're here for five, four, three, two, Drop the knees down and then cow pose. Inhale, scoop your tailbone up, stretch the heart forward, collarbones broaden out. Cat pose as you exhale around your spine. Maybe you hover the knees just like a millimeter up off the mat. Take it back to cow, drop the knees, breathe in, and reach the crown of the head away from the sternum. Cat pose with or without a hover knee as you exhale, push the palms down. Again, cow, breathe and imagine pulling the heels of the hands toward the knees. Cat as you empty. Last cow, take a breath in, spread the fingers wide, the toes are tucked under, and then back to downward facing dog. This time, stay here for a few breaths. Maybe you pedal it out. Check in with your foundation. See so your hands, your feet pressing down as evenly as possible. So all four of those contact points with the floor, try and put 25% of your pressure into each one of those. All right, look forward, lift your heels, and then take a big step or a bunch of little steps to the top of your mat, halfway stretch. Breathe in, find some length in your spine. 
Hold forward as you exhale. Moving with your breath, go all the way up. Big full body stretch, breathe in. Take it right back down as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant the hands, step back, high push up, rock forward, lower all the way down. You can use your knees anytime that you want. Slide your fingers back toward the middle of your ribs and just a couple inches away from your body. Come onto the tops of the feet. So toenails are anchored down and then roll up on your fingertips. Elbows point back, shoulders hug together. Take a breath in. And then roll it down nice and easy, does it long exhale. Let the forehead tap the mat two more times. Inhale, cobra roll up. Open your heart, maybe come up a little higher. Exhale, lower all the way down, little shakti pot, tap the forehead to the mat. Last time, breathe in as you lift. And then downward facing dog, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. This time, let's take just one nice long breath in. Stay for your exhale, trying to kick something off my mat there. Look forward, lift the heels, breathe in again. Empty your breath completely, and then take a big step or a bunch of little ones to the top of the mat. One more Surya Namaskar A. Lift up halfway, breath in. Fold forward as you exhale. And roll focus on the breath, big stretch. Pull a prayer all the way down onto the floor as you empty. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant the hands, step back this time, high push up to low push up, half or all the way down. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale, peel it open. And then exhale, downward facing dog, press it back. Take your right leg back behind you and then put a bend in your right knee as you stack your right hip. Soft bend your left knee so that standing leg has a little bend in it too. And then both of your arms push your chest toward your left thigh. Circle your right ankle or your right knee, just finding a little bit more awareness in that top lifted right leg. Switch the direction of the circles that you're making. Notice some of those little nooks and crannies in the hip or the ankle. Take the right leg straight back, big breath in. And then hug your right knee to your right elbow, shift forward, shoulders over your wrists. Do that again, kick back, breathe in. Right knee, right elbow, squeeze as you pull the shoulders forward. Last time, same thing, inhale, stretch. Exhale, right elbow, give it a squeeze, and then step your right foot softly behind the right wrist and the left heel down. I'm gonna come up into warrior one. Use your back foot to steer your left hip forward. So you're working to square the hips toward the front of your mat. There's a big bend in your right knee as you root down to the base of your right big toe to find stability in that knee using the right thigh, the front of the right thigh. Stay where you are or look upward, breathe in. And then plant the hands, step the right foot back to meet the left, high to low on the breath out. Inhale, cobra or up dog, finish your stretch. And then press it back to downward facing dog as you empty. The left leg lifts, put a bend in the knee this first time. Maybe you soften the right knee and press with both of your hands. Notice that that left arm is gonna to press too to bring your chest closer to your right thigh. Start to draw some circles with your left ankle or your left knee. Getting more present in the joint spaces, switch the direction of those circles and more active in the muscles that support them. Take the leg back, breathe in. Left elbow, exhale, squeeze the abdominals up. Kick it back, inhale. Twice more, exhale, left elbow. Focus on your breath, in and out. Look forward, softly step the left foot down. Warrior one, right heel spins flat. And then your feet are not super glued. If you feel wonky in your hips or in your lunge, go ahead and make some little adjustments or some big adjustments. And then find a spot that feels like an interesting place to drop into some stillness and explore. Can you lower the hips a little bit? Can you press a bit more firmly into your feet to feel the muscles in your legs light up? 
stay here or take your eyes up, maybe the palms touch, you look toward your thumbs, breathe in, and then plant the hands, left foot steps back on the breath out, a little push up, upward facing dog, huge inhale, draw some energy in. Down dog, as you empty, stay here, just one breath in through your nose, maybe an open mouth exhale anytime you want. Look forward, lift the heels. Empty your breath, step walk or jump your feet to the top. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Chest to thighs, breathe out. We go all the way up on the inhale, stretch, keep your legs straight. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze your glutes a little bit and then get active through your back. So use the muscles between your shoulder blades behind your heart to compact the muscles in your back and feel the shoulders plugging into the back of the ribs and moving toward midline. We're gonna take it into chair, bend your knees, sweep your fingers down and come up. Press the palms together out in front of you in chair. Big long inhale. And then backstroke your right arm as you exhale, try and keep the knees aligned. Bring that right arm to circle down and to the front, breathe in. Backstroke your left arm, long breath out. Circle the left arm down and forward, inhale. And then flip the palms to face down. Exhale, straight legs, push the arms back behind you. Sweep up as you breathe in. Bow forward as you breathe out. One breath, one motion. Halfway lift on the in breath. Plant the hands, step back, flow through your vinyasa. That's low push up, up dog or cobra. And then meeting in downward facing dog or going straight to down dog. When you get there, right leg, breathe it up high. Just one time, bring your right knee to your right elbow, shift the shoulders forward, inhale, kick back. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Finish your inhale, finish that pose, maybe you look up. Plant the hands, step back, smooth as butter, flow through your vinyasa. Breathing in, and breathing out. Totally fine if your breath is a little different. Left leg, lift on and in. Left elbow on the out, kick it back, breathe in. Step forward as you empty, warrior one, you rise, maybe your eyes go upward on the in-breath. Plant the hands, step back, high to low, push up, building some heat here. Drop in to stretch, expand, open, exhale to down dog. Look forward right away, breathe in. Empty the breath, step walk, or hop your feet between your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in. Stick with it, fold forward as you empty. Rise strong on the inhale, keep the legs straight, bend the elbows, exhale, glutes are active. Chair, breathe in. Open arms to the right as you breathe out. Palms together in front, inhale. Open arms to the left, exhale. Palms together, breathe in. Straight legs push back as you empty. Spread the fingers, reach it up on the inhale, look up. Bow forward, exhale it right back down. Halfway stretch, big breath in. Step, float, or hop it back. We will meet in downward facing dog. Maybe you take a child's pose. Maybe you stay in that flow, right leg. Inhale it up. Right elbow, exhale it in. Kick back, breathe in. Step forward, breathe out, warrior one, rise on the in-breath. Plant your hands, step back, vinyasa, take the left side on your own. Totally okay if you skip things, if you forget things, let it be playful and creative. Especially when we're putting a lot of effort into something, it can be hard not to take it super duper seriously. If you can lighten your heart a little bit, hop into that strength of creativity and play. Look forward on an in breath. Empty the breath, step, walk, or jump between your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Rise, burst open, inhale. Bend your elbows, exhale. Chair, breathe in, palms touch. Open arm to the right as you exhale it back. Sweep it down and forward in. Open left, exhale. Sweep down and forward, big breath in. 
push back as you empty straighten the legs sweep it up maybe a little back bend here on the in breath and then fold forward as you empty halfway stretch breathe in step walk or hop it back we will meet in downward facing dog right leg goes high breathe in right elbow give it a little squeeze pause we're going to slide that right knee back just about a foot so it's underneath the right hip and then drop the knee down spin onto the uh, sole of your left foot as you lift the left arm up and open oh supported side plank take some circles with that left arm in space get long through the sides of the neck here so oftentimes we here in yoga you can try this out bring your left arm straight up fingers toward the ceiling we here to take the eyeballs up toward the left thumb. Play with that, that's fine, nothing wrong with it. But one thing that can feel really great and in a lot of folks' bodies is to bring the eyes toward the left side of your room and then drop the right ear toward the right shoulder. A little neck release that way. We're gonna reach the left arm back toward the left leg. So just shift the weight back toward the left leg and right knee, come on up. Little grounded reverse warrior. Stay here or reach the left hand up, catch the right wrist, pull up and then over, deepening that side bend. Release the bind if you caught the right arm, breathe in. Cartwheel your hands, step it straight back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Left knee, left elbow, squeeze, 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 and then slide that knee back a bit and drop it down under the left hip. Side plank variation over here. Find some movement in that top arm. Just let the right shoulder kind of explore its range of motion today, not forcing it. Switch the direction of those circles you're making. Soften the right wrist, the right fingers. Good. take the right arm forward, stay spacious in your lower back for a moment, and then sweep the right arm back toward the right hip, start to shift the weight, use your abdominals as you come up into that reverse warrior variation, lengthen the tailbone so it's a neutral pelvis, so your butt's not sticking way back out in space, just neutral pelvis, abs pull in, maybe your right hand catches the left arm somewhere, lift up, and then take it over. Find some space in your left side body. And then as if you could bias your inhales into the left side of your lungs. Release the left arm if you caught it. Breathe in. Circle the hands. Down dog as you breathe out. Right leg lifts again. Inhale. Right elbow as you exhale. Drop the knee under the hip. Inhale, side plank variation. Exhale, sweep that arm back and rise it up. Big breath in here. Cartwheel the hands down, pause. Pivot your left heel up. We're gonna find a three-point plank. Right leg goes back behind you. And then right knee pulls in under the body. Do that again, right leg back behind you. Right knee pulls in. One more, pull the leg back. Actually, press the leg back, pull the knee in, hold the knee bent. Wild thing, come to the outer edge of your left foot, right toes drop back behind you, peeling open, a little heart opener, a little back bend. It's strong in those points of contact with the ground. So it's much more natural to find an open heart when we've got a really strong foundation to work with. Breathe in, exhale, right hand comes down. Let's bring the right knee to the right elbow, bring it outside the right elbow, step the right foot outside. Of the right pinky finger and then step the left foot outside of the left pinky finger we're back in malasana interlace your hands but release the index finger so we've got kali mudra here push into your feet you're going to straighten the legs reach the fingertips up come all the way up give the glutes a little squeeze breathe in keep the bind as you exhale lower down thumbs come toward your sternum two more inhale up and exhale down. Last time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release the bind. Frame your right foot. I'm going to turn to the side for this one. So you frame your right foot with your fingertips. 
And then we're going to keep the right toes pointing where they are, kind of to one or two o'clock. As you lift the hips up, pivot the left toes to the right for a pyramid variation. So the right toes are still angled. Now I guess it would be more toward 11 o'clock. So that we're really stretching the outer edge of the right leg a little, give your head a gentle nod or a little shake side to side. Breathing in, moving toward yourself, making space for you in your practice. Exhale, let go of any of the resistance or friction that can bubble up. And then we're gonna pivot the left toes back toward a malasana stance, come back into your yogi sweat. Release the fingers down, hands or shoulder distance apart. You can stay right here or start to set up for crow pose, bakasana, bringing the palms face down on the mat, bend the elbows a little bit and then bring the knees toward the triceps. My body is kind of giving me a nice little no signal here. And I just want to check and make sure it's my body and not my mind that's saying no. So I might kind of ease in just a little bit further, see how that feels. And then maybe I back off. If you have bakasana in your practice, I'll see, I think I'm still getting a no here. Maybe you lift one set of toes and maybe you flirt with the other side. Some of you all may have bakasana, go for it. We'll take a big breath in. And then vinyasa, the next place we're going to meet is downward facing dog. You can take a child's pose or a cat cow to get there. I'm going to set up that sequence on the left. Let's clear it out. Big breath in through your nose. Lion's breath, open your mouth, stick your tongue out. Left leg up on an inhale. Right back into your rhythm, left elbow, exhale. Drop the knee. Open it up, side plank variation, breathe in. And then backstroke that top arm as you exhale, reverse warrior on your knee. Inhale, open. Cartwheel the hands down, pause. You're going to pivot the right heel up. Left leg goes straight back away from the hip. Breathe in. Left elbow as you breathe out. One more. Inhale. Elbow on the exhale. One and a half more. Inhale, kick. Squeeze the knee in. Wild thing, come to the outer edge of the right foot, left toes drop back behind you. Strong, stable foundation to lift, press the floor away, feel firm in those points of contact. Breathe in and then bring that left hand back down. We're gonna step the left foot all the way outside of the left pinky finger, follow it up with the right foot, malasana at the top, interlace your fingers, Kali Mudra. Stand it up, breathe in. Drop it well, breathe out. Twice more, inhale, big exhale. Last time, breathe in, breathe out. Frame your left leg and foot with your fingertips. Lift the hips, straighten the legs. Keep the left toes pointing the way they are as you pivot the right toes to the left for your pyramid variation. Can you find some release and ease here? Maybe you notice if you're gripping through your mouth, your lips, your tongue, you soften around your teeth and your jaw. Let gravity pull the weight of your skull downward to decompress the back of the neck and make some space there. And then we're going to come back into Malaksana, pivot the right heel in, hands to heart center, breathe in. Fold forward, option for crow. The next place we will meet is in downward facing dog. So this is one of those moments where I had this arm balance planned for myself. Well, there it goes. Sometimes our plans don't quite work out. And that's one of the best opportunities to bring a little bit of that playful spirit into the experience, into the moment, get creative. We'll flow through that once we're gonna add on right leg, inhale. Right elbow, exhale, drop the knee under the hip, side plank variation, breathe in. Backstroke the top arm, reverse on your knee as you breathe out, stay here, inhale, open. Cartwheel the hands down as you exhale, three point plank, big breath in. Right knee, right elbow, breathe out just one time, inhale. 
This time, bring the right foot outside of the right pinky finger. Keep the left hand planted. Open the right arm up. So we're coming to a dragonfly twist with a little bit wider base. I said it was going to get playful. Be super kind to yourself. Let this practice be nourishing. What we're going to try and do here is shift the weight into the front hand and foot. Bring that left knee in under your hips, under your chest. And then drop your butt toward the mat as you kick the left leg out and bring your right fingertips toward the left foot. We're just going to reverse that. Hug the knee into your chest first. Push the left hand and the right foot down. Kick that left leg back, back to drag and fly first. Breathe in. Try that out again. Knee hugs under your body and then kick it up. Inhale, drag and fly. Long exhale, hug it in and then shoot it up. Play around with this, just another moment. We're gonna meet in our dragonfly twist. Ooh, dragonfly twist. Once you're there and you wanna be there, land. Take a breath in. Cross Arita, pivot your toes toward the long left side of your yoga mat, drop your hands under your chest, let your head go. Holy, find a little ease again here. Maybe you sway side to side. You can take the ragdoll arm bind, get a little clearance there. From your straddle, release the hands down so you're in like a halfway stretch with your chest and spine. Hit the right fingers, left arm opens. Press your right sit bone back gently so still have that firm awareness of where your right foot is and then where your right leg is. Breathe in, sweep the hands to the top of the mat. Hit the toes forward, crescent lunge, come all the way on up. And bring your hands to your heart. Rotate the torso to the right, hinge forward. Left elbow outside of the right thigh, you're in your prayer twist. You can always lower a back knee down here. If the left leg is lifted, stay strong in your left leg. So strong line of energy if the leg is lifted from your left heel all the way through to the crown of the head. Perhaps you start to take your eyes up over your right shoulder toward the ceiling. Stay with your breath, lengthen your inhale. Slow down your exhale as you wrap your lungs around your heart, star posed. Take it open on the inhale. We're gonna find that Kali Mudra. So interlace your fingers, releasing the thumb, crossing, or releasing the index fingers, excuse me, crossing the thumb. Toes are pointing toward the long left edge of your yoga mat. Breathe in. We're going to bend the left knee. Send your butt back. Toss is parallel toward the ground as you bring your index fingers to tap the mat inside of your left foot. Come back to star. Breathe in. Tap down as you exhale. Option from here to bring that right leg to the back of the mat for a single-legged balance. We're bringing that right leg up with, this, with the Kali Mudra, breathe in. And then tap it down back to that side lunge as you breathe out. Come to star on the inhale. Side lunge on the exhale, either straight back to star or single-legged down at the back, breathe in. Side lunge, breathe out. A couple more, star on the in. Side lunge on the out, star or single leg mountain, inhale. Side lunge, exhale, star pose, breathe in. Side lunge, breathe out, maybe single leg mountain, maybe you're back to star, inhale. Side lunge on the exhale, star pose, hold it there, hold it there. Pull your mudra down through your heart, turn your heels and toes out, of course. Knees point towards your toes, pulse it low, maybe shift your hips side to side. Roll the shoulders back behind your heart space and then reach that Kali Mudra forward. Last little bit of the flow on this side. We've got side winders. You're going to point the fingers toward the right, pivot to the left heel up. Maybe you tap the left knee down. Come back to goddess with your index fingers, with your Kali Mudra, and then side winder it to the back. We're going to take it forward and then side to side. You could be moving really slow here. You could be holding your pulses here, or you could be taking those sidewinders at a challenging pace. We're here for 10. We're going to meet in sidewinder facing forward. Nine, eight, seven, six, going way slower than my count or pulsing. Last three, two, 
Hold it inside, wind it toward the front, drop that back knee down. Inhale, your arms come up, squeeze the arms toward the ears, and then frame out your front foot. Oh, that split, thank goodness. Stretching out the right leg, sending your hips back. You can keep the hips lifted the way I've got mine today, or if you'd rather drop your hips down toward your left heel, or perhaps work toward a full split. Choose wherever your body is going to feel the most connected. And then tap into the sensation of your breath. Maybe you can close the eyes down so that you can concentrate. Any more long inhales. Slowing down the exhales gently. One more here, breathe in. And stay with it as you exhale. Look forward, start to rebend the front knee. Tuck the back set of toes under. Now lift that left knee up and kick the right leg back, three-legged dog. Put a bend in your right knee, externally opening the hip. Look underneath your left underarm. Maybe you can find your right foot. And then some of us are gonna flip our dogs over, bringing that right foot down outside of your mat to the left reaching the right arm up and then forward. Same deal here, gently press down into those points of contact that you found with your mat. Breathe in as you open, engage your core, come back to high push up, hold for five, four, three, two, drop the knees, child's pose. I know we've got a left side, stay here, just one big breath in. Really scattering this brief moment of rest. Exhale, let it go. Right back into the flow. Pull forward, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Here we go, left side in. Left elbow, exhale, drop the knee, side plank variation, breathe in. Backstroke right arm, reverse on your knee as you breathe out. Stay there, inhale. Cartwheel the hands down, three point push up on the exhale. Push back through that left heel, get strong breathing, and then left knee, left elbow, squeeze, step outside of the left pinky finger, drag and slide, peel the right arm up and open. Press the right hand, or the left arm up and open, excuse me. Press the right hand down, so we're twisting to the left. Push your left foot down. So just shift forward a little bit. We're gonna hug that right knee underneath the body. Tip the butt downward as you kick the right leg upward and reach left hand for right foot. Back to dragonfly breathing. Try that out a couple times, breathing out. If this feels like a hell no from your body, hold your dragonfly and engage your abdominals. Maybe start to flirt with floating the right hand or coming up onto the right fingertips. We'll meet in dragonfly in three. So you meet up and drag and fly, huge breath in. Cross arena, take that right legged straddle, maybe ragdoll your arms again. Look for some ease. Notice if your wrists are clenching. Is it possible to find some space in the back of the wrists? Release the fingers down. Heel open, uh, right arm twisting toward the back of your mat, breathe in. And then sweep the hands to the top as you exhale, pivot the toes forward, high crescent lunge, reach your arms upward, lengthen your lower back. So pelvis is neutral. Maybe the tailbone is even tucked a little bit. You can bend the right knee to create that space. Bring your hands to your heart, breathe in. And then twist to the left. Option to always drop that back knee if that feels more supportive today, if it feels more nourishing. So whether you've got the knee lifted or lowered is totally beside the point. What matters is that you feel a sense of alignment with your needs in this moment. Breathe in a way that supports that connection so that you get more clarity on what those needs are. Big breath in. Stay in the twist as you exhale. Star falls with Kali Mudra. Here we go, inhale, reach that mudra up. Exhale, side lunge, tap the fingers inside of your back foot. Scooch away from the wall, give yourself some space. 
Back to star with the mudra, inhale. Side lunge, exhale. You could move between star and side lunge or find that single legged mountain. Every other rep at the back of the mat. This time left knee comes up, arms come up. Side lunge to star, breathe in. Side lunge, either single legged mountain or star. Inhale up, exhale down, whichever pattern you've got. Inhale up, exhale it down for five, four. We're meeting in star with Kali in three, two, star with Kali mudra on one. Meet up there, pull your hands to your heart center, turn your heels and toes out. Malasana, or excuse me, uh, goddess pose here or horse pose. I'll turn to the other side. Same deal as last time. Point the fingers forward. Option to take pulses here or to take those side winders. Finding a pace and a variation of your practice that feels nourishing for your mind, your body, your spirit. Meeting in the side winders, facing the front with the left leg forward. Five, four, three, two. One, left knee is forward, right knee drops down, sweep the arms up, lift the mudra, lift the wrists, lift the fingers, and then hug the arms toward your ears and temples, breathe in. Half split, Ooh, more full split, straightening out that leg. And then as soon as you can, coming into the rhythm of your breath. Letting the breath be like a wave that can wash through your body, washing away judgments, washing away any discontent that might be arising. And then washing in this sense of acceptance, this ability to trust that your practice has been unfolding exactly as it's meant. Know that this place is exactly where you need to be. There's a roomy saying, I'm going to paraphrase, but basically this spot that you are in, this exact moment of your life right here, right now, God or the source or the creator circled on a map of the cosmos for you. Resting in that sense of trust for two more breaths here. And when you're ready, you look forward, re-bend the front knee, plant the hands around your left foot, right knee lifts. Left leg goes back, three-legged dog. Look underneath your right underarm, bend your left knee. Some of us will flip it over into a flip dog. Keep pressing your feet down. Big, long inhale. High push-up, hold high plank. Separate your feet to the edges of your mat, and then bring your right fingers to touch the left elbow, or left shoulder, excuse me, and left fingers to touch the right shoulder. Last little bit of core. Hollow out your lower belly. So the abdominal muscles are pulling up and in. Lower back is spacious. Maybe you find a tuck of the tailbone, tiny one if you're doing that. For five, four, we're gonna drop the knees. Three, two, one. Knees down, child's pose or seated meditation. Wherever you have the best chance of resetting, regrouping. If you're in a seated meditation with me, feel that the crown of the head is straight up over the heart. Your shoulders are stacked in space over your hips. So if you're in child's pose, then you're just breathing into your back, into that space. And from here, working your way onto your back. And hug the knees into the chest. 
Bring your palms to your kneecaps and then circle the knees in opposite directions. So the right knee goes maybe clockwise and the left knee goes counterclockwise or vice versa. Depending a little bit of that external rotation of the hip. So switch the direction of the circles. If that opposite direction business doesn't make any sense to you, just move around in any way that feels good for the lower back. All right, set the left foot down, left knee is bent, find a figure four by guiding your right ankle into place over the top of the left thigh. Then bring your right hand to your right hip crease. You might press that right hip crease away from you very gently, encourage some space. We're gonna stay in a figure four arrangement with the legs, but we're gonna add a twist. So what that will look like is you're actually going to Walk your left foot a little bit away from yourself. Just crawl it a little bit toward the top of the mat. Flex your right foot and then start to lower your right foot so that it comes to the floor outside of your mat. Right knee is still gonna point roughly up toward the ceiling. And then again, maybe you bring the right fingertips to the inside of the right upper hip and thigh and encourage that sense of opening. Your body is giving you a big no here, or if you feel tension kind of gathering in your jaw or your neck, go ahead and release that right knee down toward your chest and slide the right knee on top of the left to set up a different version of a spinal twist where you're still going to get that hip opening. Let your belly soften. And notice if you're clenching your toes your feet or your ankles. And then let the breath start to soften as well, but still feel this sense that as you inhale and you're making space for yourself, you're moving toward the moment. And as you exhale, just allowing yourself to unhook from anything that prevents that sense of connectedness. And letting muscle tension melt. And slowly come back to the center, untangle whatever version of that figure four or spinal twist you had. Keep the knees bent, walk the feet toward the edges of the mat, turn the toes in slightly, and then drop the knees so that they can gently rest against each other. So the inner edges of the knees are kissing together, feet are wide. Tiny bit of a pigeon toe happening. So three breaths that can be slow, they can be deep, and they can be just natural breaths where you're not trying to control the breath at all, just letting your body breathe for you. And then set up your foundation with your Feet about hips distance apart again. Bring your left ankle over the top of the right thigh for your figure four on this side. If you want to try the same thing on this side, it may or may not work. It's different. Um, right and left side of our hips are often a little bit different. That's fine. So we're just going to Try and recreate a similar sensation. And that might mean kind of dialing down the range of motion or dialing up the range of motion. Or maybe it's exactly the same. Just staying present to what you need as you start to uh, drop your outer right knee and sole of the left foot down toward the right. There's a wall in your way. Adjust your position a little bit so you've got space. Option to use your right hand, kind of anchor that left ankle into place. And to use the left fingers or the heel of the left hand, just gently encourage that upper left inner thigh stretch as you point the knee toward the ceiling or come into a version of a spinal twist that's gonna support your practice today.
gently reverse out of that twist, whichever variation that you came into, untangling the legs. This time, bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees part. You could bring a hand to your belly and a hand around your heart space. And your option is to stay here in this supine butterfly to close your practice. Or if you'd rather straighten out the legs into a Shavasana, you can adjust the arms into more of a traditional Shavasana with the arms down at your side. And honestly, the whole goal of this part of your practice is to seal your efforts in and to find a sense of surrender, of acceptance, of peace with what is. So if laying on your back ain't it for you, feel free to take legs at the wall or lay on your belly. And even if you feel the need to kind of log off quickly or shut off the video, give yourself just three rounds of breath at a minimum roughly 30 seconds to marinate in some stillness to support your nervous system, to regulate your nervous system so that as you move on to whatever's next in your day, your nerves feel real resilient in a way that lets you maintain that sense of creativity or playfulness. And if you have a little bit longer, hang out here with me, just listening for the sound of my voice in about 40 seconds to wrap up our practice. When you're ready to move on, you can invite some movement into your toes, your fingers, your ankles, your wrists. Maybe a nod of the head. Maybe you roll to either side for a moment. Eventually meet me in a seat. We'll close practice together with one last big breath, finding Anjali Mudra with your hands at your heart. As you inhale, let the ribs expand, let the lungs fill, let the shoulders shrug toward your ears. So hunch them up so that there's more space. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Keep inhaling, sip in even more, keep going. And then open your mouth, let it completely go. All right, awesome work. Thanks for being here. Take great care of yourself and I hope to see you again soon.